Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial we will learn about the model. So these are the points of the video. We will see what is the model in a theoretical way, then uh, how we can make it, how we can use it and how we can use it with the same file and import it from the different file and we will use the model with the component file as well as in the service also, right? So in the earlier time when we start this complete series i told you that module and model are the completely different things right and that time i told you about the module but why we are going to learning too much late about the model the reason is at the basic level if you are not using the model then that's okay this is not the compulsory part right this is the optional but which is very important if you use the model it will make your application more robust and there is a less chance of the errors your application in runtime also right so now what is the model basically uh, you can say that this is a data structure of your uh, data and it provides the validation to your uh, data also like how it's provide the data structure validations and all so let's say you have a data like name have something like peter right and let's say now have the age uh, is 30 or 40 something right now you want that every time when I just want to uh, define the name it should be string and when I just define the age it should be number right and if I just put something else or if, if I just put put something like wrong like age equal to age is string something like that then uh, there should be an error or warning that should be warn that this is not be correct way, right For that we will use the model and here you can see that it will provide the validation for every object array or every uh, You can say that the variable or property it will tell that the property type should be like uh, numeric or string or boolean and all right so this is the inner for theoretical part now let's see how we can implement and this is a very interesting topic you will see right so now let's uh, jump on the app dot component dot ps file and I have let's a function simply like get data and it has a const like data and it has some values like uh, name can be anil right and now it have the id and id can be like uh, 10 and uh, um, i am indian or not right so in this case there should be only a uh, two way uh, either yes or either no right so for a moment let's say i just put yes oh uh, sorry i just put here uh, true right and now I just return data from my this function. So uh, let's say I am just uh, um, working my data and somehow I just someone put here like yes with it, right? But uh, in my code, I just handle the Boolean value only or yes or uh, true and false only, right? So in that case, there should be an error when I will run it, right? How can I prevent this error? For that, I can define an interface and this interface will tell me that the Indian property can have only uh, true and false property and ID can have only be numeric property and string will be only uh, name will be a string property only like how it can tell me uh, for that first of all let's correct it true right and now let's define uh, interface and interface type interface name like data type or whatever I just want to put and then put the property which is uh, exist in your data uh, in your object right like name uh, can be string right then ID can be number then Indian right and uh, Indian can be uh, boolean value right so now how can I, I use it with so just simply use here data colon your 
interface name right yeah one more thing i actually forgot to tell you that uh, is this interface is a or model is a angular feature no it's not angular feature it's a typescript feature right as we know that every file in the angular we use with the .ts so that means it simply support the typescript and this interface or you can say that the model is a feature of typescript not the angular right okay so now let's continue so uh, this is working fine so let's say i just put here uh indian like yes right and when i put it yes then it will tell me that type string is not assignable to type boolean it will just telling me that the indian can be only a boolean type if i just put here true or false there there will be no error right and similar if i just uh, use the name like uh, 100 then it will tell me that the type number is not assignable to type string and it's saying that the name should be only string right so like peter it will be perfect so let's say i just uh, define here address and i put here like uh, daily india right so now you will see that it will just telling that uh, object literal may be specified to the non property and address does not exist in the type script uh, the type data type so it will just telling that uh, it's not look like or it seems wrong something with the address because address is not present in the uh, type script so let's say i just add here address and i just put here string right then it will working fine if i just put here any like let's say for any field i am not uh, aware that what kind of data it will uh, will be come here right it can be boolean it can be uh, string null undefined then i can put here any right so uh, this is a way that how we can use the interface now let's see how we can use it with the service so for that we need a service so now let's make a service simply right so just use here ng g service and service name and if you don't know how we can use the service link is given in the description box you can uh, go to the complete playlist which is provided in the description right the all tutorials are there so how can i do it in the service also so this is the nothing is different just uh, copy from here and paste it here right and i can use uh, for a moment i can use the same function also like this right but maybe now you have a question that why i am just repeating this interface uh, can i put it in the single place and i can use it uh, or import it from the single place in the or both of file yes this is possible and this is a right way also so let's uh, just define uh, another file like user type or whatever just want to put users dot ts that's okay for a moment and just copy it from here and cut it right and let's put it simply and just write here export we are exporting it and in the service just write here import something from uh, users and just write here data type and this is working fine right so you can do the same thing with the component.ts file also let's import it and just remove it from here and it will work fine and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care